Hello everyone, my name is Jason, or as my YouTube name would indicate, my name is Jason. Um, I'm going to take a wild guess now and say that none of you have ever heard of me before. And chances are, of course, that is a correct guess because I'm a new director for Jungle Gamer. Um, what actually happened, and keep in mind I had never heard of Jungle Gamer before like the last week or so, but um, what happened is that uh, the um, video that Jungle Gamer put up a few days ago asking people to go to their website send in an application to become a new director um you know obviously because they're looking for new directors well someone sent me the link to that video can't talk blah, blah, blah. someone sent me the link to that video so i checked it out watched it enjoyed it and um went to their website sent in my application and thankfully i was accepted i'm very fortunate and like i said thankful that this happened because so far i only have 10 or so subscribers and i haven't really had a chance to build my channel yet so i'm very happy with this and, um, it's just my first opportunity to actually get myself out there and get recognized. So, uh, now that you understand how I got here and w basically why I'm here right now and talking to you, uh, I have a few things I would like to say and then I will explain who I am and what I do. So, yeah, let's get to that. First of all, I would like to say hi to the general gamer community as well as my fellow directors, of course. Um, like I said, it is simply amazing to be a part of something like this that, you know, it, it's bigger than me. It gives my channel a chance, you know, a really good opportunity to grow and become more recognized. I mean, like a lot of other people, I do this YouTube thing as a hobby, but until now, like I said once again, I haven't had a really chance. I haven't really had a good chance to build my channel, and I'm only at about 10 or so subscribers. So, I mean, I know this is, you know, kind of a generic thing to say, but the reason I'm hoping that this won't be short lived, you know, aside from growing my channel is that I would like to think that I'll also probably meet some new people and make some friends because you know gaming in general you know in addition to YouTube too I have met so many awesome people through this whole YouTube and gaming stuff stuff I mean people I would never have met if I didn't have a genuine interest in you know doing YouTube and people I would have never met if I didn't have a genuine interest in gaming like we would ne we never would have clicked like I mean I'm still would have met them but I would have never you know clicked with them as human beings, I wouldn't have had anything in common with them, but, you know, this whole YouTube and gaming stuff gives me hobbies and ways to get along with other people who share similar interests, so, like I said, I'm hoping this won't be short-lived, and, um, yes, once again, to repeat, hello, everyone, I hope to stay here for a while, and, uh, in the future, produce content that people will like, hopefully, um, so, uh, yeah. And the second thing I want to say is that uh, even though the gameplay isn't really relevant to the commentary, I might as well explain what you're watching. Um, it's the fourth episode in a series I'm currently running on my channel. It's called Striker Justice. Um, the concept is pretty simple. I use nothing but the striker for an entire game, and I upload the results. The gameplay is recorded from theater um, because I wasn't using well my PC, my PVR wasn't on at the time. I think I was rendering something actually. So I'm sorry if it's a bit choppy and or twitchy because I know, uh, yeah, like you know, theater mode can be kind of you know twitchy from time to time and not very uh, satisfying to watch. But it is the best I can do, and the gameplay isn't, like I said, very relevant to the commentary. It's just free to watch in case you care. Um, the third thing I wanted to talk about, and this kind of relates to the second thing, um, the entire Striker Justice series is not like this. You know, whereas this one is just a gameplay and commentary. The first two episodes in the series, which are on my channel, by the way, if you want to check them out, they are unique because it's not only me playing, but a friend used nothing but the striker as well. So basically what I'm getting at is that we played the same match using the same gun, and I record my perspective while playing, but I record his from theater mode because he doesn't have a PVR, and which is actually, what is actually cool, I didn't really, I was kind of iffy on the idea at first, but he, I was iffy on the idea at first, but he says it turned out nicely. Um, I took the view from both sides and set them up in a dual screen format. In most of the episodes, it's mine on the, I think, left, and his on the right. And, um, so whatever, feel free to check those out if you want, they are on my channel. But anyways, now that that is all out of the way, I guess I should explain who I am and what I do. So, um, well, for starters, I play video games, and I also like to talk to myself. And, you know, given the nature of my hobby, I sometimes do both at the same, uh, time. Yeah. But I do play a variety of games, even though my favorites are most of the entries in the Call of Duty series. Um, but don't get the wrong idea, though. My channel isn't completely based on Call of Duty. And, it, well, I mean, that's that's the thing I think makes me different from other people. 
And I know a lot of people try to say like, oh, herp, derp, derp, I don't do the mainstream stuff that makes me so cool and I, but I mean, I, I, I do some, you know, normal stuff, like do Modern Warfare 3 videos and whatnot, but I try to avoid the, the fully mainstream stuff like, and by the way, when I define mainstream, I mean like the kind of videos you'd find on channels such as X Jaws, Wings of Redemption, The Mark of J. But don't get me wrong, though, I like their videos. I just find that too many people try to build their channels in the same way. I mean, I like like I said, I won't lie. Um, I have posted several Call of Duty videos, uh, specifically Modern Warfare 3. But I do try to change it up or do something different than other people are doing. And what I mean by that is... Oh, oh I mean, I guess, it, you know, kind of to shame myself a little bit. I did do one mainstreamish live comment session for Modern Warfare 3. It was actually the first video series I did. And... Um, but since then, Striker Justice is the only thing that came even close, and I feel like Striker Justice, to be honest, is kind of fairly entertaining to watch, so I made an exception. You know, it's not like, tune in every day like, 50-1, and 48-2, blah, 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 like stupid, stupid good scores, um, and that's like the only thing they have to offer. Like, I'm just doing it for fun, having fun with my friends, and just using a gun that's, you know, quite frankly, fun, but, um, and, like the other stuff I have on my channel is two live comp sessions. Um, on the Modern Warfare 3 survival mode, a series called Jason Sucks at Fallout 3, in which I try to better myself at Fallout 3. Um, I also have some other videos, um, short miscellaneous Let's Plays to be specific, and uh, videos mixed in with that as well. But um, you can go check out my channel if you want to see that stuff. I'm just trying to talk, like, give you an idea about the main stuff I'm doing at the moment. But um, all in all, I, I try to put effort into avoid going completely mainstream because even when I do well, I mean but even when I do I try to be creative like I said with the um uh live comp sessions on survival mode which I do plan to do more of those I kind of want to make them like you know my thing kind of like syndicate has zombies and uh also the striker justice series is quite fun to do so I don't really consider that mainstream as I try to put a twist on it in some of the episodes and um but, you know, I, I put I also put a lot of effort into my videos. I mean, I know I don't get paid for this. It's just a hobby, of course. But I, I try to treat it like a job. I mean, like I said, I put a lot of effort into my videos. I Well, that includes sometimes staying up so I can make a video or render something. I've stayed up until 2 or 3 a.m. before, even on a school night, even though I know I don't get anything really back for this. Just to get a video out so people can watch it and have fun, and maybe I can brand their day or something along those lines. But, um... I would just, so I would say that I'm quite passionate about YouTube because I enjoy playing video games. I like to record them because it's fun to share with, uh, share the fun with other people. And, you know, just, it, it's my thing. I mean, I know a lot of people say that, but I, for the last four or five years, I, I never really had any big hobbies. I mean, I used to play baseball when I was younger, but I, I would be lying if I said I wasn't out of shape. And, um, I can't, I'm not exactly greatest at sports. I guess I'm okay at baseball still, but uh, gaming and YouTube is the only thing I really have as a fun activity to do. And, um, you know, that's just who I am. But anyways, uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also hope I explain who I am and what I do fairly well. And if you enjoyed the video, please check out my channel. All I ask is that you watch a few videos, at least one or two. Decide if you like my stuff or not, and if you don't, feel free to leave. Like I said, I do try to be creative. I do this for fun, and I, you know, I try to be dedicated to it as I would. I try to be as dedicated to it as I would be to a job. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and um, yes, have a nice day.